We're continuing now with the Nave Study Bible. And as we said before, uh, it is full of things, chuck full of things. And one thing about this Bible is that it has um, not only the small letters inside of the text that show you notes on the outside, and also a little sign that will show you that there are uh, large notes underneath and the scripture references on the side. But also there are some other sizes of letters that are used in there in addition to what you usually have. Um, now, for example, if there is a uh, large letter S, an outline index of the sovereignty of God, the, uh, the masters of uh, the sovereignty of God, uh, covenant of grace, the Holy Trinity, and uh, central doctrines and so forth. Those are all in there to study all by themselves. And in addition to that, this Bible has a letter Q, <clears throat> either before or after a word. What that means is either that verse or that idea is quoted in other scripture. Um, and during that, it'll have these uh, bold face letters with an MP. That means it's a messianic uh, prophecy and an MPF fulfilled and an MPU unfulfilled messianic prophecies. And then, of course, the large letter G has to do with a glossary that's called that it has words that are outdated from the original King James. So you can go through that and it shows you all the forms that the word has, whether it's a noun, a verb, an adjective, a passive, a plural, a present particle, a participle, a reflective verb, and so on and so forth. When you go through, and it'll take all of those words that are not particularly appropriate that we know now from the King James Version, and they will give you uh, another um, amend, for example, means uh, to amend or repair. And it tells you Second Chronicles 34.10, for example. Or how about alms deeds, acts of mercy, such as gifts to the poor. Or how about alleluia, a Hebrewism, literally, praise ye the Lord, and that's in Revelation and so forth. And the albeit, A-L-B-E-I-T, it's uh, um, although to be, and so on. And so it goes through with all of that, and that is fascinating. When words are out of date and out of print, well, that's quite uh, quite good. And then all that I told you about before, and then in addition, when you get to the um, Geographical Gazette, uh, which is near the end, the Geographical Gazette is not found in any other Bible. What it is, it talks about everything geographical in the Bible, and it tells you what it is. For example, S-I-S-C-I-A, fortified town near Pannonia. It was captured by Tiberius, who was thought to have made it a colony. Later, it was colonized by Septuagint Cervantes, and so forth. So that is a, a, um, a what they call Geography Gazette. And no Bible that I know has that, and that's all about geographical locations and what they mean. And that's very good. Then they have, at the end, uh, excellent maps, and I have showed you some of those before, and they're very, very good. Well, these are the, some of the outstanding features of the Knaves Study Bible.